this song. One half of the wild cards, Eddie Kingston. Has gotten a spot in this strong style tournament. I'm gonna make sure my kids aren't fighting in the locker room. I'll be right back. Punk's gotta check on some business. So there are no altercations in the locker room. Hopefully. Looks like a dragon, very dragon-esque. Super Dragon is actually Bob Roop under a hood. Bob Roop. Bob Roop's Rooper Dragon. Rooper Dragon. No, uh, actually, that's just speculation on his part. We don't need to continue. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I didn't we realize don't really there were many out. dragons in Orange County. Well, there is. Well, there's one at least. And he burninates the Highlands, California. Yeah. Cocky Eddie Kingston. That was a very smart out of him. Yeah, let's get the crowd more behind Super Dragon. <laughs> That'll help me out in the long Yeah, not very run. bright. Drop toe hold from Super Dragon. Eddie Kingston's wisely covering up. Rolling over, rolling back. Grabbing hold of the head of Kingston. Kingston, uh, another one of the wrestlers, much like Aries, but people were like, what? He's in a strong style tournament? We're going to see some, like, I've seen him uh, in some singles action, and he can. Yeah, he especially can here in Lafayette against Chris Hero, a very hard-hitting match. Proved exactly what he's all about, single style, and then he can exchange strikes with the best of them. He was trained under Quackenbush, so. He also just has a big mouth to go along with the hard hitting. That he did not learn from Quackenbush. Quackenbush, very soft-spoken. Eddie Kingston is now. Yeah, Quack, not a promo guy. He's, he's a gentleman. Eddie Kingston is not. <laughs> Hello. And just to say, you know, tackle. just in short, Eddie Kingston's an asshole. <laughs> and again, Dragon right back up. Forearm strike, but Kingston staying on his feet. Chop across the chest. Solid forearm from Dragon. Kingston dishing it right back up. CM Punk back at the uh, commentator stage. Yeah, Evan Starsmore really messed up his... Uh, his arm Larry in the hell out of that ring post. They had to get him some ice. Uh, and then he did another uh, a lariat on one of his opponents after the injury. Yeah, but that and the camel clutch got her to win. So. Ring post one, arm zero. <laughs> camel clutch applied by Eddie Kingston now on Super Dragon. Pull the mask off. Pull it off now. <laughs> we can see who it really to do that when I wrestle Super Dragon. Cross faces from Kingston, wrenching back on the camel clutch. Dragon trying to power his way out of it. 
takes a try and roll the shoulders over, but Dragon keeping his himself off the canvas. Back into the corner now, slap right across the face of Kingston. Forearm strikes. Handful of the mask. Trying to poke through the eye holes. Oh! Slap yeah, you're gonna neck. slap Kingston, you'll get slapped right back. All the broken bodies from tonight this is great. We can't afford any more broken bodies. An eight man. Come on, Bryce and Frey Dragon! Grab a hold, man. And he does. Keeping him grounded. I wonder what Chris Candido is thinking watching these strong style tournament matches. He's you don't thinking, need to kill each other. It's the, vic the goal is one, two, three. Get the victory. You don't have to kill each other. But I guess that's the whole point of American strong style is, ooh, let's hit each other really, really hard. Yes. And see if we can stay on our feet. Not me, man. You hit me that hard, I'm going down. <laughs> Double stop from Kingston. Saves me from getting hit again. Hoxalugi in the general direction of Smart Mark Video. Oh! Exchanging slaps now. Forearm from Dragon. Roaring this time and down goes Kingston. Dragon's holding his face. <laughs> you can't really see the grimace of pain on his face due to the mask. Although he is slightly shaped like Grimace. <laughs> hey, Ronald. He doesn't have a purple outfit on tonight. Three! Think about it. <laughs> Use your imagination, Dave. Kingston backed into the corner, chop across the chest, and again. Chops don't do nothing to guys wearing t-shirts, you know? American Dragon said differently at Ted Petty. Kick in the corner to the side of the head. What's he going for? What's he going for? All the way up to top, flippy. goes he's known to do flippy Super stuff. Dragon. He's also known for the double stomp. Dragon with the cover. Only two. Kingston, slap to the buckle. Catches Dragon. Belly to belly suplex. Hooks the leg tight. Only two. Some hard hitting. Already advancing. Oh, Roderick no. Strong and Samoa Joe. Shirt comes off. Shirt. Pants come off. The pants almost came off. Kick right to the back, right to the spine. Go for the mask, Kingston. Go for the mask. One good pull, that thing would be off. You're not you. suplex. Dragon saw come. I thought he said he's going to pee on him. Actually, he heard it coming, so he was able to block. Dragon set into the buckle. Kingston comes charging with the boot right to the face. Going Looking for it again. Those, those uh, Yurinagi suplexes are not pleasant. And Dragon uh, knows that one of the trademark holds of Eddie Kingston, if he hits it, could be curtains for Super Dragon. Of course, I don't know any uh, suplex that's pleasant, unless you named one Pleasant Plex or something. Chop across the chest. Backhand right across the face. Stupidity. Much like John Stossel. We, we should have uh, brought Bobby Eaton in to commentate this tournament. No, Bobby Eaton should not be commentating on the tournament. Butterflying the arms. Butterfly suplex off the top rope from Super Dragon into a cover, but not hooking the leg. It was right there. Perfect opportunity to hook it, but no. Got to look the leg, hook the leg. Referee applies a double count. Two. Winner of this match to face the winner of your next Three. tournament bout between B-Boy and Homicide. Going for the Lariat. Kingston though catches him. Yaranagi suplex. One, two, oh, two and three quarter. Kingston putting up a good fight. Oh, son of a hell. Son of a hell indeed, Nate Webb. Both men down once again. What was the detour bar I bought that was in your car? I have no idea. You'll have to ask Roderick Strong. He eats a lot. You, so should, you should get a regular candy bar. From 
Roderick Strong, he's out in the food. Yeah, we, we, did, we determined that he is on the food. Kind of regular candy bars taste like. To get the, the, to get the strength like Roderick Strong, you have to eat plenty of bacon and Fruit Loops. And instead of pouring milk on your Fruit Loops, you pour milkshakes on your Fruit Loops. Big Lariat from Dragon. Two. No. Kingston gets his shoulder up. Dragon's Quest. <laughs> Chop forearm combination in the corner from Super Dragon. Headbutts now. Several, I, I lost count. It's a violence party here in Lafayette. And Eddie Kingston is feeling the effects. <laughs> Ah, that's Super Dragon. Fan favorite when he can beat somebody up, but when he's in the ring with somebody you can't take liberties with. Oh. All the way up top! Oh! oh stop! And three. Kingston definitely making him a name for himself in strong style competition in that match right there. Held his own with Super Dragon. You have to give it up to Eddie Kingston. Put his heart into it, even though being cocky at times. Did one hell of a job Smoking against Super Dragon.
matchup is a six-way number one contenders match. The winner of this match will face the IWA world champion tomorrow night in Highland, Indiana at Simply the Best Six. It is scheduled for one pinfall, one hour time limit, tagging in and out only two wrestlers in the ring at a time. Your referee is Bryce Rumsberg. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Jim Fannin. He is a former IWA World Tag Team Champion, the King of Diamonds, Eddie Kingston. His opponent, hailing from Spring Lake, New Jersey, he is the current NWA Midwest Heavyweight Champion, Chris Cantino. Their opponent, hailing from the United Base of Switzerland, Double C, Claudio Castagnoli. Their opponent, a former IWA World Champion from Chicago, Illinois, the anarchist, Eric Cannon. And their opponent, also a former IWA World Champion from Metropolis, Chris Hero. And their opponent, also a former IWA World Champion and the reigning NWA Heartland Champion from Chicago, They didn't start wrestling yet. How about that belt on Danny Daniels with the cornucopia on it? The NWA Heartland title. He has the Horde of Plenty. I'm gonna look at it right now. Wow. <laughs> Rensburg is going to have his hands full with this man. Match. I really wish I had a belt that had three cornucopias <laughs> on it. <laughs> winner of this match to face the winner of Punk Jacobs later tonight. Uh, next. Tomorrow. Yes, that is next. One hour time limit on this matchup. One pin. We have the opening bell and Chris Hero and Double C to start things. Two men very familiar with each other. Claudio not wanting to lock up. Fixing his tie. He wants to look good. How about that shirt? How about that That's shirt? Something. You know, Joey Eastman no shows tonight, and I have to ring announce in this. Yeah. I should be wearing what Claudio's got on. Yes. That thing is styling. Profiling. I was gonna say a little 2005. <laughs> that show was good. That was uh, that. AJ Styles was on it. I think he wrestled okay. Michael Shane. Okay, I know. Yes, yeah, December 2003. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Hero B Boy Two Out Three Falls. Then. No, regular. No, first that was their uh, two, three, their rematch so from the TPI. Out, he's got an outside wrist lock there. Yes, he does. Claudio spinning it, trying to loosen up the pressure. Wrist lock applied by Double C. Zero Zero rolling through. Back to his feet. Back, back, and back up, and back down, back up, and back down, back and back. Jump around. Going to work on the arm. Bar in the arm. Oh, he'll go into the hair because it's a cheater. Ooh. European uppercut. The first of probably many tonight. Goes underneath the leapfrog of Chris Hero. Reverse flying ass into the door. Or Quesadora. Same thing. However you wish to look at it. <laughs> Off the ropes comes Hero. Leapfrog from Claudio. Dives over top, does Hero. Rolls back. Claudio over top this time. Leapasso. Leapfrog from Hero. Step over by Claudio. And connects with the kick. Sends Castagnoli to the floor. 
Looked like he was going to try to set a dive up on Claudio. Very, very wisely. Claudio moving opposite the ring post. And Candido and Daniel. Hang it. Matchup we've seen a couple, t at least twice in the IWA competition. Yes. We saw it in Highland. We saw it in Evansville. And in that eight man. Yes, in that big eight man in Lafayette for the Revolution Strong Style. Lock up. One of the craziest matches in wrestling history. Shot to the rib cage of Daniel. Candido with the chop right across the chest. Daniel's firing back. You know, Daniels isn't very happy that he has to fight his way through five other wrestlers in order to get a title shot after losing that belt just one week ago to Jimmy Jacobs. Just going to work on Candido, but he goes to the eyes of Daniels. Lots of blocking. And now Daniels to the eyes of Candido. Side headlock grab, sent in the ropes. Shoulder tackle, down goes Candido. Daniels come on, baby, number one. <laughs> Keep a grip on and come Candido. on, baby, count. Go for the hip toss, blocked. And Daniels gets the hip toss. Arm drag. Uh, Big arm drag. And Candido scoots underneath the bottom rope and out to the floor. Daniel looks like he's possibly going Daniel's for Daniel's going up top. I wonder if Candido knows where he's at. Cross body from Daniels to the floor. Come out, baby! And Claudio running away as Daniels gets back up. Cannon and Kingston face to face inside the ring. Both pretty heavy hitters. I don't think they've ever wrestled each other in IWA before. They did wrestle each other about a year ago in MPW. Slap right across the face of Kingston. Forearm shot, Cannon still on his feet. Dishing it right back out. Neither man going down. No forearm strikes here. Oh. Down to one knee. That made a funny noise. Back up. Off the ropes this time. Looked like Cannon ducked one, but then wasn't able to duck the following two. Possibly setting him up for the Glimmer Warlock. Kicking that knee, but Kingston Speaking saw it ducking. coming, ducked his head. Neck breaker coming out from the honor kick. Right into submission. Referee checking out his condition, but we do have four other guys in this match. That'll put a stop to any submission predicament. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. It's now Boston Crab by Daniels on Candido. Hero with Castagnoli. Looking to tie him up. We got three submissions going on in the ring right now, and the referee doesn't know who to ask. Do you need to give it up, man? So he's making the rounds. You said you need to give it up. Yeah. No, to you. I found that very entertaining. Candido reaches the rope, gets the count on Daniel. Big hero scene, Danny. Hero with Castagnoli, setting the buckle. Hero uh oh. Charging, leaping forearm. Daniels, double knees to the chest. Where have I seen something like this before? Cannon with the leaping forearm strike. The old double smack attack. Oh, Claudio moved out of harm's way as Kingston was sent right in. Another leaping forearm from Hero on Kingston. And Daniels with one of his own. Cannon with one of his own. Candido now puts on the brakes. They're both members of the family. Drop kick and inadvertent headbutt to the lower extremities. And Claudio and with another the... inadvertent. Ah, okay. Please tag Claudio someone else in. It. Hey man, get your head into this smack. And what keeps the guy you're supposed to get his head to into was Candido's crotch. Boo! Daniel's into the buckle. Oh. Daniel's up to the second rope. Has Kingston stunned? Body scissors. Castagnoli in. STO. STO right on uh -oh. top of Kingston. 
Double stop, back senton combo. Turn, but turn around, Chris Candido in the ring. Just scramble rules. Yeah, yeah. Scrambled eggs rule. Yeah, you sit down. Big power slam from Candido. Go for the cover. One, two. Only two. Hook the light, man. He really should, but he doesn't. It's fundamental. Vertical suplex possibly coming up from Candido. Delayed vertical suplex, letting all the blood rush into the head of Danny Daniel. He likes to make him think about it. And drops him down with the suplex. Yeah. I thought he just said that was the greatest suplex in the history of WCW. But I'm pretty sure he did it. Only two. Maybe he did. That was a pretty good suplex yeah. in the history of WCW. WCW. Candido and Kingston double teaming Daniels. Double elbow. Kingston with the cover. Cannon breaks it up. Taking issue with referee Remsburg. It's not very nice. Castagnoli tagged back in. European uppercut. Wow. And out to the floor goes Daniels. That was quite the European uppercut. Claudio trying to bait Cannon into the ring. Candido with Daniels. Pitched back inside. Claudio goes for the cover. Fennin yelling, Claudio, no, no. Claudio does not have the managerial services of Jim Fatton. But he, he has formed tagged some with, sort of a weird alliance with He has match, tagged with Candido before. It's every man for himself. That's what it's all about. Neither the NWA Midwest nor the Heartland Championship with the cornucopia on it are on the line. Hustle, hustle. Candido with Daniels. Low blow right there, referee out of position. Daniels into the ropes, going for the sunset flip on Candido. Please keep your tights up. Do not. Okay. Very good. Brains, yeah. Please stay that smart. Stay that smart. Keep your pants up. Body slam. Candido looking to go up top. Kingston gives him some room. Hey, it is every man for himself. See, this is where Kingston should knock Candido off the top. Daniels back to his feet. Big slam off the top. Daniels and Candido both down. Referee Rumsberg applies the count. Candido back up. Ricky board and roll, Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon, the legal man. Forearm strike for Candido. Sends Candido off the ropes. Knocks him down. Lateral press. Claudio breaks it up. Reversal of the whip. Big backdrop from Cannon. Has his back turned to Eddie Kingston. Reversal of the Irish whip. Kicks away at the arm. Neckbreaker using neck breaker. the ropes for extra elevation. Goes for the cover. Daniels breaks it up. I'm tired of this goddamn crap. Going for the pile driver. Exploder suplex. 
Daniels rolling underneath the bottom ropes, keep from being pinned. Uh -oh. And Cannon and Hero face to face for the first time since he came back from that injury. Kingston and Candido with forearms to the back. Cannon thrown to the floor. Hero thrown to the floor. They did it, big high five. They did it, baby. Uh oh. That's every man for himself. Candido with the DDT on Kingston. You can trust Chris Candido. It's funny, Jim Fanning keeps arguing when either of them go for the pin, but one of them actually has to win. Yes, one of them would have to win. European uppercut to the back of the neck of Candido there. Pulls him back up. Shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> Claudio with the cover. Daniels breaks it up. European uppercut from Castagnoli. Daniels staying on his feet. Neck breaker. Pile driver coming up. Pile driver on Castagnoli. Daniels with the cover now. Hero with the back sun time to break it up. Winner of this match to get the heavyweight title shot tomorrow night in Highland. Simply the best. What's the number? Six. Six. Six for our Spanish speaking people. Hero with Daniels. Hero sandwich number two. I haven't seen him use that move in quite some time. Rolls him over. No, only two. I think he might have leg dropped Claudio as he came down. And that leaves Cannon and Hero in the ring once again. Face to face. Just shoves Hero, shoves Cannon back. Feuded throughout most of from mid-2000 to the cannon initially got injured. Yes. Yeah. Chop across the occasions. chest. Back and forth. Had their first IWA matchup in November of 2003 at the Ted Petty Invitational Tournament in Salem, Indiana. Also wrestled each other in European rounds. What's Bannon right? doing on the apron? Get down! Get down! Chop him! Oh, from behind, Eddie Kingston. Release German suplex. Backbreaker over the knee by Kingston on Hero. Il Yurganagi. Yurganagi suplex. One, two, oh, so close to Kingston getting that title shot. Daniels chopping away at Candido on the floor. Castagnoli holding Daniels for Candido. Candido connects with Castagnoli. Meanwhile, inside the ring, holding forearm across the back of Hero by Kingston. Hero digging down for more energy. Firing away on Kingston. Fires right back. Forearm exchange. Both men staying on their feet. Chop across the chest of Kingston. Asking for Hero to bring it on. Comes roaring that time. There it was. Series of forearm strikes now. Combination. Eric Cannon Looking just for the Hero's welcome right here. Hero's welcome. Probably off camera, but Eric Cannon just threw a pizza box. A see. second Hero's welcome on Kingston. This could be Hero it. with the cover. And it is. Hero gets the title shot. The winner of Jacobs and Punk to defend against Chris Hero in a town where he has not earned a victory since November of 2003. Will he finally be able to overcome that Highland curse with the title on the line tomorrow night? Become what, a five-time champion? Would that be a fifth one? Okay, I could count him. I won't, but I could if I really wanted to.
the dancing destroyer, the coach of Monte Cristo. He is every woman's pet and every man's threat. The underwear model, Eric Paris. Their opponents from the home of the brave, Yonkers, New York. The king of diamonds. Tag team matchup, Bryce Remsburg. One pinfall to determine the winners here as Tyler Black makes his first appearance on a not co promoted event with NWA No Limits. His first official uh, IWA Mid South appearance as the tag team partner of Joey Envy. Joey Envy's been here a couple times before. He was in a six way in December, which Josh Abercrombie won. It's a three way for the MPW Universal title, I think. Yes, and that was where he lost the title to Jimmy Jacobs. Some discrepancy as to who will be starting. A whole lot of personality in this match. Yeah, and uh, the, the fan favorites, I guess, would be the team of Black and Envy. Yeah. I guess. Of course, uh, Sean Tempers returning to IWA competition. This will also be the IWA debut of all that Adam Jacobs, former NWA Wildside heavyweight champion. Uh, they have formed the team of Pompous Tendencies as Ace Rockwell, frequent partner of Sean, Te Sean Tempers in uh, Pomp and Circumstance, currently on the shelf with injury. That's very unfortunate circumstances. Unfortunate circumstances. Unfortunate circumstances for Ace Rockwell. Or, yeah, Ace Rockwell. Silas Young fresh off a big match at uh, CZW last weekend, which Josh Abercrombie won, or excuse me, Brendan Tomaselli won. And Josh Abercrombie participating in that match as yes, well. Yes, yes. Ringing away on the arm of Joey Envy. Yes. Priest and Silas Young uh, have been quite a tag team force here in IWA the past few months. Uh, this is actually their third multi, you know, three or four way tag team encounter in the past two weeks. They also won one back in February here, which uh, Pomp and Circumstance were in, Icarus and Shane Storm were in, and maybe some, maybe another team, I think. That was to uh, earn a title shot at Brad Bradley, Ryan Boz, and Trick Davis. They got that title shot here in Highland and were unsuccessful right. in their quest to gain IWA tag team gold. Silas is a deceptively agile guy. He's very quick. Grabbing hold of the headlock on Joey Envy. Trying to work his way back to a standing position and back to the wrist lock goes Young. He lost a non-televised hair match. <laughs> yes. Thankfully he did, because that hair was pretty nappy. Hey, you're doing a great job. Nappier than BJ Whitman. Come on, Joey. Jim Fannin pacing at ringside in his kilt. It's not really a kilt. It's more of a dress. More of a dress. Despite what he says, it's a dress. The big touche from Chandler McClure earlier this evening. Kicks out of the headlock. Joey Envy back to his feet and grabs hold of the headlock on Silas Young. This is first pin, right? Yes, one so pinfall determine the winners of this contest. You gotta be in it to win it. Like Nigel McGuinness. Yes. Kicks off Young, force over. Four-way tag should be Nigel McGuinness matches. <laughs> Joey Envy working over that arm. Ooh. Goes to the eyes of Envy. Shot right across the chest. Envy to the second row. Cross body on Young. But the momentum rolls through, holding on to Envy. Up on the shoulders now, but wiggles his way out of that position. Chop across Young's chest. 
Follows up with the forearm. Oh. Boot to the gut. And now Envy. His own corner. Gets the boot up into the face of Silas Young and connects with the back heel kick. His ropes are getting a lot of springy attention tonight. I don't think he wanted that tag, but he doesn't have much of a choice. Get in the ring, Kingston. Uh, big mouth meets big mouth. Hey, turn around, Kingston. Your opponent's right behind you. Oh, Arm drag. Kingston, of course, no stranger to tag team wrestling. Former IW Mid-South Tag Champion, Blackjack Marciano last fall. Oh, he's had enough. And he's in the corner of the Wild Side duo as Adam Jacobs tagged in. Are the, the Wild Side guys and Priest and Silas both on Ed Schumann's team? Yes, both aligned with the NWA faction. Okay. Can we see Joey E take a chance right here? You know, he waited too long, maybe. Brings him in the hard way. Right on the high knee. And quickly scurrying towards Sean Tempers to make the tag. Keeps his own partner in there. One of these guys he trusts. Uh, tag somebody you don't normally team with. It's a wild card. You have no idea what they're going to do. But when you go to your own partner, even though they're not regular partners. And Tyler Black makes his way into the ring. We've seen Tyler Black before. Ooh. He has been quite impressive up in the Muscatine, Iowa region mm -hmm. for NWA No Limits. It's a hotbed, Muscatine. Has been training under Danny Daniels, baby. Wow. Big headbutt from Eric Priest. Black sent into the ropes. Leapfrog. Bunny hop. Oh, connects with the drop kick. Okay. And Priest tags BJ Whitmer. Former IWA heavyweight champion. Recently returning from arm injury. Yes. Probably the most well-traveled guy in this uh, group of eight. Kind of biding his time on the apron. And uh, I guess it would be a toss-up between maybe Priest and BJ in terms of who has the power advantage in this match as well. So Tyler Black very well put together himself. Holding onto the wrist lock on BJ Whitmer. Rolling through. Tyler's staying right with BJ. Impressive for the newcomer. Going hold for hold with former IWA world champ. Oh. Maybe he was surfing earlier. <laughs> Could be. Goes to the eyes. BJ might have felt out wrestled there instead of attempting to hold for hold for them and just. But maybe he'll send a message. Yeah. And he's doing that right now with the chop across the chest. Welcome to Highland Tyler. Tyler Black sent to the ropes, gets met with the elbow from Whitmer. Only two. Silas knows if, if that makes three, they're done, they're out. Forum across the back of Tyler Black. Awesome. Kingston Tag tagged in. Partner. Black sent to the ropes, double team strategy. Shoulder block from both Kingston and Whitmer. The Fannin family duo in control. Good job, BJ, good job. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Ryder. Oh, oh. Kicks right to the back. Those are unnecessary. Trying to fight his way out of the clutch of Eddie Kingston, but a forearm across the back puts a stop to that. Grabs hold of the head, backs himself into the corner, and tags Whitmer back in. Black's taking quite a lot of punishment in a short time. Whitmer now. Snip oh. suplex drives him down to the canvas, holding on. Northern Lights this time. Nice bridge. Effortless for BJ with all that power, upper body strength. Joey Envy extending his hand, wants to tag. As the wrestler with the least amount of experience in this matchup is in there with BJ Whitmer, but he's firing back on him. And again, going to the eye. 
Tyler Black sent to the ropes once again. BJ ducks his head, gets kicked in the shoulder. And they both go for clotheslines at the very same time. Both men go down, and Andy Long applies a double count. Tyler has more than just a clothesline to shrug off, though. Reaching for a corner. Joey Envy has the hand extended, wants that tag. Just one bit of energy just died to his partner. There it is. Joey Enby tagged in. Whitmer turns around right to Hilarion. And Kingston goes down as well. Joey Enby going to work on both Whitmer and Kingston. Chop across the chest of Whitmer. And again, forearm shot. Just going to town on BJ. Off the ropes he comes but gets chopped right down. Breaking Too much ass, power. And dumped through the ropes to the floor. Get on him, guys. Takes He's the attention of the official as now Eddie Kingston and Silas Young putting the boots. Priest is over there too. Joey Envy just getting worked over on the other side of the ring and Tyler Black trying to come to the aid. It's a shoving match between him and Eric Priest here. Tyler trying to come to the aid of his partner. Donnie Brook. And oh, well, back inside the ring, Whitmer with the cover. No. no. Envy out of two. Kingston tagged back in. Burst of energy only got Joey Envy so far. Kingston reversal the Irish whip. Sends his partner in with the high knee. And the jacuzzi kick. Takes him down. Yeah, Hurricane. Is that a Greek god in there? Is that any Kingston? Who? Oh, nonchalant cover. Very lackadaisical. Watch him do what? Stand in the corner? Oh, forearm shot from the King of Diamonds. And again. Cool. Off the ropes that time. And again, very cocky cover. You're not going to beat him like that. Gets his shoulder up. Very possible that Kingston and Beecher are underestimating their opponents in this match. Sean Tempers tagged back in. Going to work on Joey Envy. Adam Jacobs tagged in again himself. Got a five Double team strategy by Pumpus Tendencies. Whoa! Clipping leg drop back inside the ring. Nicely done, but not going for the cover right away. Eric Priest breaks it up. Modified demolition decapitation. Yes. Ooh. I'm going to kick his stick and teeth in. Yeah. Ah. Hung up in the tree of Joey Lawrence. Whoa. And just stomping away at the midsection. He fell out of the tree, but no. No. Drop kick in the corner. Joey Eddie doesn't move similar to that. Tempers back in. Oh. Taking strides with the five count. Envy into the ropes, double boot to the midsection. Off the ropes comes Tempers and takes him down. Modified STO. Shots to the midsection to Sean Tempers trying to fight his way toward the corner and tag Tyler Black. Breaker. Ooh. Lateral press. No. Both Silas and Kingston trying to get in there and break that up. Tempers pulls Joey Envy back up. Silas Young tagged back in. Silas hasn't been in this match in a while. Very well rested on the apron. A match like this gives uh Gives these wrestlers some time to uh, catch their breath, regroup, shake off any injuries before tagging back in. Think about a plan of attack. I mean, BJ and Kingston over there can be talking oh. strategy this one. Uh-oh. 
Bad predicament for Joey Endy right here. Oh, face and chest burst down to the canvas. Could have been a cop killer. Oh, again, very cocky cover. This time from Silas Young. He was twisting his nipples. Hold in here? I'm quite warm. Crowd getting behind Joey Envy. As long as they realize there is no dunking. <laughs> Nate Webb learned that the hard way. True. Jimmy Jacobs learned the hard way last night. Oh. Trying to hold on to the side headlock. Silas Young. Off the ropes comes Joey Envy. Knee to the midsection. Takes away his momentum. As now Eric Priest tagged back in. Stomping away. Kingston just said those stomps suck. As BJ tags himself in. Priest has to leave. Yikes. Elevating. Oh, gut buster. Drops those ribs right across the knee. There's a lot left here tonight, too, isn't there, Dave? Yeah, we still have CM Punk taking on Delirious. Special attraction matchup. CM Punk, uh, 223 pounds. Uh, doesn't quite make it for light heavyweight. Uh, he's up by three? Yeah, by three pounds. I saw him throwing up in the bathroom. Yeah, he's trying. I, didn't, I don't know if that was bad. <laughs> I didn't ask questions. Elevates Ooh. Joey and me and just drives him down to the canvas. Also tonight, of course, the heavyweight title on the line is Jimmy Jacobs defends against Chris Hero. Will tonight be the night that Hero finally breaks the Highland losing streak and wins the championship back? Two birds with one stone for Chris Hero, very possibly. The Iron Saints against Brandon Tomaselli and Trick Davis in a TLC match. T and Rotten to take on Chris Candido. And I know you're saying, TLC, tender loving care. No, 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 no not in your night of your Tables, ladders, and chairs. Joey Envy connects with the drop kick. This could be his chance. Could buy him some time to work his way toward Tyler Black, make that tag, and get, get the fresh man back in the ring. There it is. Tyler Black tagged in. Connects with the elbow on Whitmer. Forearm strike. In comes Silas Young. He gets knocked down by Black. Elbow to follow up as well. Kingston gets met with the clothesline. And a drop kick as well. Tyler Black taking on everybody. Here comes Eric Priest. Move to the midsection. And Wow, this kid really wants a victory in his IWA Mid-South debut here in Highland. Big match for him. Fisherman. Oh, Fisherman brain bust right into a cradle. Wow, he busted his brain much like a fisherman would. Small package driver. Exploder suplex. 98, one of those exploders. Turns his back, Adam Jacobs. Remember that show all that on Nickelodeon? Yes. Okay, me too. Inverted DDT. Kingston right behind him. Oh, oh. Okay. You're an ID. And connects. Here comes Sean Tempers from behind on Kingston. Whoa! Right over the knee with the backbreaker. Slam the knee. Silas Young in. Takes Tempers down. Silas, Silas Young. Crossing out that uh, handstand, headstand moonsault. Handstand springboard. Oh, inside cradle by Tyler Black. No. Only two. Priest, let that Big happen. boot from Priest. Well, see some double team strategy here from Priest and Young. They've got Tyler Black inside the ring. Drop kick off the top rope. The other team's going at it on the floor, but inside the ring. That was enough. Silas Young scores the pitfall. Eric Priest managed not to fall down. They're going to be lobbying for another shot at uh, Trick Brad and Boz now. Very impressive tag team combination here at IWA Mid-South. Priest and Young walk away with their hands raised. Chandler McClure gets the victory, but from behind, Eddie Kingston here comes coming Eddie to the King ring. Jim Fannin. Chandler Eddie. McClure gets the victory, but Jim Fannin will, he won't let it go. He won't accept the fact that McClure said no and does not want to part of the Fannin family. 
Taylor McClure already got the victory. Eddie Kingston wearing the tape on his head. Last night got busted open in a Texas death match with Ian Rotten in Muscatine, Iowa. Has Mike Wallace joined the Fannin family? What's this about? Eddie Kingston, you get away from here. Eddie Kingston is systematically destroying the human rule book. Yeah! Out comes Eric Cannon. Eddie Kingston's opponent for the night. Since when did Eric Cannon get a conscience? I don't know. But the referee declaring Chandler McClure. You want to go? Sounded strangely like Kool-Aid Man. Well, it looks like Kingston wants to start this match right now. This match is not scheduled until later in the show, but Kingston wants to go right now. in an IWA ring in uh, Midlothian, Illinois in a six-way that also featured myself, Danny Daniels, Chris Candido, and Claudio Castagnoli. Essen, you came up the winner of that matchup. Eddie Kingston gave Eric Cannon a German suplex, dropping him right on the top of his head. See the bandages on the forehead of Eddie Kingston as a result of last night's Texas death match with Ian Rotten in Muscatine, Iowa. Jim Fannin making his presence felt in that match coming out after the referee was knocked down, using chloroform to knock out Ian Rotten. I'd rather he use color forms, but it won't really knock people out. No, not really. Collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Bryce Remsburg in charge of the action. Eric Cannonay, former IWA world champion. Kingston, former co holder of the tag team champ titles. Wrist lock applied by Kingston. Eric Cannon will be a part of the gauntlet that Jimmy Jacobs must run next weekend in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Along with myself Along and Along with Danny yourself Daniels. and Danny Daniels. Jimmy Jacobs, if he wants to leave Philadelphia, still IWA champion, he must successfully run through three challengers on that afternoon. Eddie Kingston uh, has become one of the top heavyweight wrestlers in Combat Zone Wrestling, a promotion where Eric Cannon wrestled in this year's Best of the Best, losing to Mike Quackenbush in the first round. Both of these men also frequent competitors for Chikara.
Eddie Kingston, a product of the Chikara Wrestle Factory. Also on tonight's card, side out to defend the Midwest X Division title against Josh Abercrombie. Tag team titles to be defended by Trick Davis and Brad Bradley against Vito and Sal Tomaselli, the Iron Saints. Going for a back tag on referee Bryce Remsburg. Uncalled for action. Absolutely. That would warrant a disqualification. In my mind. Wow. Man down. Man down. He can't continue, ref. I thought, I thought low blows were illegal. They are. Bryce Rensburg putting the count to Eddie Kingston. Trying to shake off the effects out on the floor. Hey, Jim, why don't you massage it for him? Eddie Kingston going after the cameraman, Glenn Boyle. I believe he just called Bryce Remsburg Jimmy Neutron. Really? It's not his name, it's Bryce Remsburg. Oh, oh. oh! Having problems entering the ring. Referee Bryce Remsburg claiming that hit him in the thigh. Off comes that athletic tape on the forehead. Fresh wounds from last night. And it looks like Cannon's gonna go to work on that cut. Looks like a little bit of blood is starting to trickle. Headbutts now from Cannon. Trying to bust him open. Cannon taking issue with that. Cannon ringing away on the arm of Kingston. Oh, Kingston sees his own blood. This is going to make him furious. Takes him over by the arm. European wrist lock takeover. Come on, NA. Of course, Jimmy Jacobs, current IWA world champion, uh, won that title from Danny Daniels on April 1st in Heron, Illinois at April Blood Showers. And since that match, he has not given Danny Daniels a rematch for the championship. And of course, Eric Cannon uh, lost the title without even losing it in the ring. He had to forfeit it due to a broken collarbone suffered in Evansville, Indiana, so he has a claim toward wanting to go after that title as well. Jacobs will have to deal with two men that have big claims that, well, they either need, need to get that first rematch or he never got pinned to begin with, plus a former multiple-time champion in yourself. I remember losing that title to Danny Daniels with a little interference from Jim Fannin. I remember going on a little two-and-a-half-month hiatus thanks to Jim Fannin as well. Eric Cannon is mocking Eddie Kingston. <coughs> Crossing the line. This one. I dare you to cross that line. I don't think he's got the guts to cross it. Oh, he crossed that line. One. That one, too. That one. Cross it. Who wants him to walk the oh, flat line? Ah. Right to the eyes. <laughs> Eddie Kingston using his noggin. Watch the eyes, man. Across the chest. Shot. Early laying it in here. Cannon now with Kingston setting to the ropes. Deep arm drag. Gets him with a second. Kingston back to his feet. Hip toss. Takes him down. Deep hip toss. Really favoring that arm. And Cannon's going to go to work on it. Shooting him off again. Kicks it with the reversal. Close line backbreaker. Right over the knee. You can see the blood trickling down the forehead of Kingston as a result of those headbutts from Cannon. There we go. Eddie Kingston is drawing the referee. Jim Fannin gets in some cheap shots. Oh. 
Hard forearm across the back. And across the chest of Cannon once again. Making people in the crowd here in Plymouth cringe in pain. Choking him with those big legs. Once again, taking the referee's attention. Hey, turn around, Bryce. Allowing Jim Fannin to choke Eric Cannon. Snapmare takes Cannon down on the canvas. Dragon sleeper applied. See if Cannon can hang in there. Referee checking to see if he's had enough. Appears that Eddie Kingston is working over the neck and upper back of Eric Cannon. Oh, oh connects with the kick. Right to the noggin. Perhaps setting up his Uranagi suplex. Big forearm. Oh. To the eyes goes Kingston once again. Measures in forearm strike. And again, Cannon wobbly. Kingston off the ropes, and this time he goes down. He needs to go for the pin here. That rocked him. That rocked Eric Cannon. Lateral press. Not enough. And tosses him to the floor. Right into the chairs goes Cannon. Once again, Kingston taking Bryce Rumsberg's attention. Grabbing Bryce Rumsberg in a clinch. Making sure he doesn't turn around. Rolls him underneath the bottom rope and back inside the ring. Making his way back in the ring via Jim Fannin. But Cannon hanging in there, kicks out at two. He helped him back into the ring. Oh, another reverse knife edge chop from Eddie Kingston. That man has a heavy hand. Yes. Hard into the buckle goes Cannon. Gets the elbow up. Kingston turns around, swings the clothesline. Cannon ducks. Goes after that arm once again. Goes for a roll up. One, two, no. Gets another near fall. Back to his feet, duck of the clothesline. Off the ropes. Big running boot. Sends Cannon back down once again. Leaping Mafia kick by the King of Diamonds. Leaping Jacuzzi. That is correct. Haley Hatred? What? He said, who's the man? Oh. Remember that? Yes, Haley Hatred is the man. Eddie Kingston, a big fan of the knife edge chop jab combo in the corner, made famous by Kirichiru Tenru. I thought you were going to say he was a big fan of Punch Magnus. No, he's not a big fan of Punch Magnus. Punch Magnus no longer exists, I believe. <laughs> no, longer, no longer exists. Came to an end prematurely. Yes. Down across the back of Cannon goes. However, Kingston. however, Punch Magnus did make his debut on the same date that the anarchist <laughs> Eric Cannon did. Yes, he did. Along with Trick Davis, Chandler McClure, McClure, and the Yellow Jacket. I saw the Yellow Jacket a couple weeks ago. Oh! oh right to the, right to the uh, lower regions the of Kingston. Oh, Referee checking on Kingston's condition. Now, I would understand if this was no limits, but man, there's got to be some rules. Eddie Kingston must have done something to piss, something to piss Bryce off, because he's not making these calls. Big Lariat. Well, I recall some shenanigans at the beginning of the match with the referee. Yeah, but Eddie that was Kingston. taken care of. I don't know. The yellow jacket. JV Insanity. Yes, JV Insanity. Those damn Lancasters. Never thought I'd run into JV and Sandy in the Yellow Jacket again, but I did. Where did you run into them at? Yellow Jacket was in the locker room of freaking Ring of Honor. Rode to the show with James Gibson. They're friends. I don't get it. Big forearm from Eddie Kingston. And JV and Sanity, he's been around IWA lately helping out. <laughs> Not wrestling, but Oh. Yeah. Oh, that definitely staggered him. Headbutt. Headbutt. Oh, down goes Kingston. 
Haven't seen the Lancasters in a long time, though. Nope. Kennen's still favoring his lower region. One, two, no. Go, Eric Cannon is back on offense. Back fist. Front, Front fist. fist. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, Icarus and Akuma are gonna come out. Roaring block. Uranagi suplex. Bam! Rocking the ring. Not enough to put Cannon away. Going into that guillotine chokehold. With the body scissors. This could be it for Eric Cannon, referee getting right in there. One. Does Cannon still have any life left in him at this point? One more, and Kingston's your winner. And I couldn't tell. No, no, no. His arm, his arm did not completely fall. Makes his way to the rope. Makes his way to the ropes. Kingston pulling Cannon back up to his feet. Tosses Kingston down. Single leg trip. Cannon with the boot to the midsection. Get fighting with one arm at this point. Trying to get him up for the suplex and he does. Holding onto the head. The right side. Holding onto that head still, trying to shake out his bad arm. Can he get him on the ropes? He does. Look at this neck breaker. Look at that arm laying limp. Right on his head. With the extra elevation from the ropes. And Jake Fannin on the ring apron takes the attention of the referee. Here comes Chandler McClure. A little payback, maybe. He's not going to let Fannin get involved in the matches tonight. Not anymore. Chasing Fannin back to the locker room. And now it is one on one between Kingston and Cannon. Series of forearm strikes. Elbows to the back of the head. Picks up Cannon. Tombstone! Oh, gets his shoulder up. Solid forearm from Cannon. Kingston fires back just as hard as Cannon slumps into the ring ropes. Back to his feet. Oh, dishes it right back out. Roaring this time, and Kingston falls into the ropes. Comes roaring himself. Saito! Back to his feet. No, not quite. Cannon may be looking for the glimmering oh. wall lock. And he keeps it, could not make it to his feet. Shining and Zagiri gets Eric Cannon the victory. Your winner is the anarchist Eric Cannon.